All right, everyone. Well, we'll go ahead and get started. Thank you so much for joining. Um, my name is Mary Robinson, and I'm a registered dietitian working in partnership with The Giant Company. Um, and so this is Mini Chef Morning, so thank you so much for joining. We do Mini Chef Mornings every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 11 a.m., we do different topics, different snacks, different books. It's just really fun um, time to jump on and learn a little bit more about nutrition. Just a couple things before we do get started. This video is being recorded. Um, so I would just ask that you keep yourself muted and your videos turned off. That's completely fine. If you do have a question, feel free to go ahead and use the chat function of this video and feel free to ask any questions and we'll get to those at the end. Also, if you have to step away from your computer at any moment, this will be um, posted on our YouTube channel, which is Healthy at Home with Giant Nutritionists. So we usually post our videos um, within the day after uh, our class. So if you see one on there that you would like to go to and um, are unable to make it, just go ahead and, and check out our YouTube channel. Thanks again for joining us. Again, this is Mini Chef Mornings. Uh, my name is Mary. I am a registered dietitian and nutritionist working in partnership with the Giant Company. Um, all right. So before we get started, I wanted to give you all kind of a rundown of what we're going to be doing. So in, if you do want to make the snack with us at the end, you can go ahead and grab those ingredients now. So today we're going to be making fruit kebabs, which is one of my favorite little snacks, kind of an anytime snack, really fun for picnics or just if you want a little snack or something like that with your kiddos. So really, really fun. Welcome for those of you who are just joining. I see a couple more that joined us. Um, welcome, welcome. So yeah, go ahead and keep yourself muted and your videos off. Thank you very much for that. This is going to be recorded. So just to let you know. But anyway, so we're making our fruit kebabs today. So if you haven't grabbed your ingredients, go right ahead and do so. Um, I'm going to give you a couple moments to do that. Uh, but they're really, really fun, really, really simple. You can use kebab skewers. You can even use toothpicks. Um, I actually had some chopsticks lying around, so that's what I'm using for my kebab. So any sort of skewer, that's the first thing you're gonna need. Um, and then any sort of fruit that you have. So today I'm using strawberries, grapes, and watermelon, but really you can use any sort of fruit that you have at home. So we're gonna be doing that, that at the end. Um, so if you'd like to make the snack along with us, go ahead and grab your ingredients. Um, now would be a great time to do that because we're actually going to read a quick story. Um, so this is one of my very, very favorite storybooks, um, and I'm really excited to share it with you all. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. All righty. It is called The Fruit Bowl by Mark Hoffman. There we go. Maybe some of you know this book, but maybe it'll be a new story to you. I think it's really fun. Fruit Bowl by Mark Hoffman. Honey, will you make sure the fruits and veggies are put away? Sure, mom. Hey, fruits, how's everyone doing? Fantastic. Peachy keen full of zest. All good. I was jammed in that bag. Awesome. And you? Great. Everybody is here. Apple, peach, banana, lemon, and orange. Oh, pear, I'm glad you're back in season. Strawberry and grapes, always a pleasure. Looking good, lime. Did the blueberry get crushed? Down here. And tomato, wait a second, tomato. What are you doing here? This is a fruit bowl. You belong in the fridge with the other vegetables. But I am a fruit. Nice try, tomato, but you're being kind of saucy and sour. It's not appealing. You'll have to split. Now, what are you doing? Get in the fridge or you'll go bad. I don't belong in here. Wait, hold on just a second. Aha, I can prove it. Um, can I help you? 
So you all know what makes you fruits, right? How we all started out as flowers? Oh, my mother told me I was a beautiful flower. My flower was the best of the bunch. So wouldn't all vegetables be fruits since they come from flowering plants? Vegetables come from other parts of the plants besides the fruit, like leaves, petals, stems, and roots. And look at this. The, oh, are you all right? Those spots? Those are my seeds. It's how we make more fruits. He's so passionate, I'm getting teary. Let us have a closer look at that. I can't believe my eyes. How did he get an x-ray? I needed an x-ray when I broke my stem. Where's his heart? Okay, fine. That may be true, but you're, you're not sweet. How dare you? Are cranberries sweet? Is grapefruit sweet? I'd like to think so. Isn't there anyone else who can settle this? There's the legend of old man produce. They say he is hidden in this very kitchen. He must be ripe. He'll know. Let's go find him. Shh, everybody, quiet. Fruits, vegetables, your travels have brought me to me. Though it is not adventure you desire, but rather knowledge, what truths do you seek? Is a tomato a fruit? Well, that is the question of all questions. If the tomato is not a fruit, is he not delicious? If the tomato is not a fruit, is he not healthy? Does he not have juice like you? You need to look inside yourself and ask why any of us are fruits. Fruit is more than yes or no. Yes. I wish I was back on the vine. Well then, tomato does belong in the bowl. I knew it all along. Welcome home. Are there any other vegetables that are fruits in disguise? Funny you should ask. These are all fruits? It was a bit chilly in the fridge. This'll be a snap. I'm glad we cleared that up. My name is very con confusing. What a pickle we're in. That fridge was the pits. Woohoo! I was so squashed in there. So you can all stay, I guess. Hooray! Yay! Thanks, tomato. My hero. Now this is cozy. The end. Why don't we get our own bowl? <laughs> Those veggies are just green with envy. By the way, you're welcome. <laughs> All righty. Well, thank you very much for joining us with that, um, for that little video there. Let me see, let's get back to that. I hope you enjoyed the, um, the story time there. Oops. All righty, there we go, we're back. So what did we learn from that, from that video? It's a very common question that I get when I am doing lots of different classes if tomatoes are a fruit or a vegetable. And one way I like to think about it, so from, from the story we learned that a tomato, because it does have seeds, and according to science, it is technically a fruit because as we talked about, um, the plant grows a flower and then that flower becomes a 
from the seeds becomes a, a fruit. So it is the fruit of the plant, but would you put a tomato in a fruit salad? Think about that one for a minute. Do you think that a tomato would go really, really well with say watermelon, strawberries, grapes? If you're shaking your head towards the camera, you are correct. So we eat tomatoes and a lot of those other uh, produce items that they were talking about in the story, we eat them as vegetables. So although they are the fruit of the plant and they are the fruit, if we're talking about science, they are indeed a vegetable according to how we eat them. But regardless if you're eating fruits or vegetables, they're all very, very good for, for us. So, but today we're gonna to be focusing on fruits. Fruits are something that we should have every single day, all different colors and varieties and shapes. Um, as we saw in the story, there are a lot of different types of fruits. So I hope that you choose different types of fruits every single day um, and you incorporate them in different, different, all sorts of different ways. So we're gonna move on to our snack now, making our fun snack. Um, and in this time, so it's very, it's, feel free to make it along with me. Um, as I mentioned earlier, it is a fruit kebab, so something super fun, super simple that you can do just to kind of make it a little more fun. So I'm going to go ahead and turn down my screen so you can see what I'm doing, what I'm working on here. Um, I've got my fruit kebabs up in the corner here that I've already made. So as I mentioned, grab, go ahead and grab your skewer. So maybe you're using toothpicks, maybe you have skewers, um, maybe you're using chopsticks like me. Whatever um, you have, go ahead and grab that. So this is a really great skill for kiddos to learn how to do. Um, but we're going to be working on our skewering skills. So go ahead and start with whatever sort of fruit you have. And even if you do have strawberries or something like that, that's a little bit bigger, we can also work on our cutting skills. So if you have something that's like a strawberry that might be a little bit bigger, um, with, of course, with your parents' help and perhaps a plastic knife or a butter knife like this one, Go ahead and slice your fruit in half. I'm gonna slice my strawberries in half because they're a little bit big. So again, this is a great skill to learn. And then go ahead and grab your kebab or your skewer and go ahead and start skewering your fruits. You really can't mess it up. So whatever sort of pattern you wanna do, whatever sort of, um, whatever sort of fruit you want. You can do all sorts of colors, all sorts of shapes, sorts of textures. Another fun tip too for the parents, if you have a, um, a cookie cutter, like a star or a heart cookie cutter, that would be really fun for the watermelon. I just did mine in chunks, but you could also do that. See what sorts of patterns you can make and see if you can find any sort of patterns with your kebabs. And make sure you keep on pushing your fruits down, at least for mine, it's a little tricky to do it on the other end. So I gotta make sure I remember to, oops, slide them over. And if something like that happens, that's okay, because we can just put our fruits back on. So again, this is a really, really fun snack and craft that you can do. Maybe you can do a little bit of, you know, finding your pattern. So do I have a pattern here? It doesn't really look like it. If I would have put another grape in there, it would have been a pattern but keep on skewering. I'm sure you're doing a great job at home. Maybe while you're skewering, you can tell your neighbor what your favorite fruit is. I'm gonna make a skewer real quick on my toothpick. So if you are using toothpicks at home, um, grapes seem to work really well with toothpicks because they're small, but you can do grapes and strawberries. I think my favorite fruit that I have here right now is watermelon. And watermelon is delicious, especially because it's in season right now. If you don't have any fresh fruits at home, you can always use frozen fruits. Those work out fine. Just make sure that you thaw them before. Um, but one tip if you're trying to find produce that's a little bit uh, less expensive, you can always buy it in season. So purchasing in season produce like watermelon right now, watermelon and strawberries are both in season right now. So they should be a little bit more cost effective um, because there's an abundance of that type of produce right now. So just a little bit of a tip, but remember to choose fruits every single day and vegetables, of course, but I hope that you can make your fruit kebabs and maybe enjoy them this afternoon for a nice snack um, or maybe for dessert for tonight after dinner. Um, but I hope you had a lot of fun with your fruit kebabs. 
feel free to keep on making them and have a little snack afterwards. Thanks for tuning in. Um, do we have any questions? Again, you can use the chat function. I'm gonna pull that up now to see if we have any um, questions, but feel free to go ahead and shoot your questions in the chat function. If there are no questions, um, then I just wanna thank you again for tuning in. Again, this was Mini Chef Mornings. We do it every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 11 a.m. and giving you fun little stories and nutrition tips with the giant nutritionist. So thanks so much for tuning in um, and have a great rest of your day.